Hi, I'm Andrew from the Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust and I'm working on the project to see whether pine martins should be reintroduced to the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley. And today I'm talking about how we assess whether a stable population of pine martins can exist in this area, can live, survive and thrive. The first thing to assess is whether there's suitable habitat and pine martins are dependent on woodland. It's thought they need about 20% of a landscape to be forested for a population to survive in that landscape. And as you can see from this map, there seems to be abundant woodland across the Forest of Dean and a lot of areas where that 20% threshold is met. We can also look at woodland on a landscape scale. That means looking at woodland across southern Wales and we can see how a population of pine martins might link between other large blocks of woodland and uh, the central Welsh population of pine martins as well. But pine martins need more than just woodland. They need three things, food, shelter, and a low risk of mortality for a population to be stable. So let's talk about food. Their primary food source is voles. So we're gonna be assessing the Forest of Dean, doing some small mammal trapping to see uh, if we can get an abundance estimate to check there's enough food here. The second thing that pine martins need is shelter. And this is to keep warm in winter and as a place to raise their young in the spring for those few early weeks of life. The main place they do this is in old holes high up in trees, uh, arboreal cavities. And these are often old woodpecker holes and they're most often found in big old deciduous woodland. So in particular things like old oaks. And we've got an abundance of 200 year old oaks in the Forest of Dean, which should be, make fantastic habitat for them. The third key factor is mortality. And the main sources of mortality are foxes and road mortality. So we can assess fox abundance across the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley through field surveys and we can also predict the riskiness of roads to pine martins. Um, pine martins will use culverts and underpasses underneath roads so we're also going to assess how frequent they are across the major high risk roads uh, to see whether there are safe passing places. So this is just a taster of the biological feasibility assessment. Um, there's lots more to be done like predicting the carrying capacity of the area, seeing how a population may grow and disperse and spread across the landscape, and also a disease risk analysis. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. The next vlog is going to be on ecological feasibility. So that's how we assess the costs and benefits to the local ecology of the area. I'll see you then.